Hi, my name's Wayne. Welcome to episode number three of Man Cave Metal Mayhem. Thank you for coming back if you're a returning viewer. Uh, this week there's going to be a few clips of some bits and pieces I've got going on. Things have changed a bit since last week. Uh, last week's video, I've been asked to work overseas by my employer, so I've got a lot to get ready this weekend. I'll be away all next week uh, in Holland and Germany. Um, so basically, like I say, there'll be a few clips, and while I'm away next week, I'll probably take a couple of videos then as well um, I've had a few views few subscriptions I'm guessing everybody starts slow and steady and then builds up if anybody starts watching so uh, if you are watching thank you again it's always very much appreciated let's go to the video clips and uh, see what we've been up to thanks very much bye bye okay so the first little job we got at the moment um, is I've got to need to make a couple of tw M20 threaded uh, so like flange bushes for a vice that I'm going to put on this bench in the front here eventually. Um, to do that, what I want to do is basically weld them onto there, you know, in the centre. And obviously drill the hole through so that the threaded rod can spin all the way through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the end of this down a little bit so that it's circular. Uh, so it's round so, and then a similar recess in there. So when I weld them, I've got a nice, good, firm... Uh, a seat for both of them so what we've got to do with this in steps is basically put this in the lathe turn this end down so it's round i'll probably do that probably leave about three or four mil from around the edge of that um so that'll probably be about what 22 mil something along those lines something like that and then do a corresponding recess in there i might also take the diameter of these steel discs down they are a little bit big for what i want to do um Pretty simple little job, but a nice little starter. Um, let's go to the lathe and uh, start getting things on there. See how we get on. Cheers. Okay, so here are the lathe. Uh, basically, first things first, let's chuck the piece up. This is a four jaw chuck. You wouldn't normally uh, be chucking a six sided thing up in this, but I can't be. Uh, overly bothered to change it out you can do it you just got to pick your surfaces quite carefully make sure it's in nice and tight give it a quick yeah let's turn him right okay let's take it out of back gear see if we can get some uh no let's leave it in back here because it's cold she'll complain like crazy if we run her like that right let's turn it on right she's quite noisy so if the volume's too bad i'll do a voiceover Sort yeah, let's change that tool out actually. I've got a chamfer tool in there at the moment because something else I was doing. Basic knife tool. Let's uh, get that on there. Let's turn on, do some cutting. Right, so first things first, we're going to do some facing cuts. To, uh, just tidy up. Just tidy up the end of the piece. All I'm going to do is just come in and just take a few minutes off. Until we get a nice flat end. bit more just a touch about another mil Alright, that's nice and flat. Right, take the carriage back. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, what we're doing now is we'll take it down this way, down the length of the piece. And what we're trying to achieve here is two things. Number one, we're going to take this hexagonal profile from that hexagonal shape to a 
uh, diameter of about 25 mil, just so that I can put it in the hole in the other plate and weld it. And then after that, we put a chamfer and just tidy up the edges. So let's turn it on again. I'll do a few cuts and then I'll skip to the uh, next bit of it because it's going to be quite boring. You'll see one day. I'll do a few cuts, but it's uh, you'll get bored to death watching it all. Have a cut. The slave has what's called power free, so engaging that means that the, the cables will travel by itself down the road. Uh, I can try using a lever a little bit further down the road. But an interrupted cut so it's going to make a bit of wear. We're going to take, going to take it down that way by about 6 or 7 mil. This is about the thickness of the plate. So I'm not using any uh, oil or anything. Should need it for this little cut. I really hope the volume's coming out of this. Do another one. Give me another measure. So that's what 30 it's pretty much bang on 30 so we need to take another five mil off of that so far let's do that now right i will um i'll record it but i don't know how much more of this i'll put in because you'll get bored to death so i'll come back when we're ready to do the next bit right so as you can see we're now down to a hair under 25 which is what i wanted it to be um, it's just a nice little fit on a 25mm hole that I'll drill in the plate in the next step. What we're going to do now is, all we're going to do here is, is put a big chamfer on this edge so you can get a nice big weld bead underneath it and a little chamfer on this one just to break the edge and make it nice and tidy. Let's change the cutter out. Do, 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 do. It's cold out here today, I tell you, and it's blowing a gale. And it looks like it's raining now and all. Not good. Right. Let's turn her on again. Quickly. 
Just to break that edge and uh, it's still a bit rough I might put a file on that in a minute anyway that's what we want to accomplish I'm just gonna wind the carriage back and just do a file across this this is where you wear nothing on your arms nothing no rings no watches or anything like that because the last thing you want is to get snagged by the uh, lathe as it goes around while you're filing so just uh, never reach oh you know just kind of do it like that so you you know if you're right handed and it's not the right way around for you learn it's you know simple right let's just give that a quick file that's perfect all right so let's take her out It's good. Focus. Come on. You gonna focus? No, you're not, are you? No, it's not gonna focus. But you get the idea. That's just got a little shout. If you look at it like that, you see that when the plate goes on there like that, it's gonna have a nice little um, gap to get a nice well be you know, well bead in. Right. So rinse and repeat. I need to do another one there. Mind you, I'm not gonna show you at all because that'd just be like boring. Next step will be the uh, discs. We'll get some, get them chucked up. I'll change the jaws in the chuck, get them mounted up, drill a hole for them, and just make sure and get it so that it fits that. All right, excellent. So, on to the next bit. What we've got here is I've marked the plate out that we're going to be welding this bit to, out with blue layout fluid. I've marked the centre, and I've also marked three holes where uh three uh three divot points where the three screw holes bolt holes where i'm going to do are going to go um i marked them all out now all i've got to do is put them on the lathe and drill them there'll be a 25 mil go hit hole going in it obviously a nice snug fit for that and i'm not sure about the size of the holes of these yet i've got to have a think about how i'm going to attach them to the bench down here it's probably some sort of coach screw so i'll probably do them about six minutes to start i can always open them up again uh, once I've found them out, what actual hardware I'm going to use. But for now, it's back to the lathe, drilling a centre hole, uh, about 25. Do that in steps. You go from sort of like your centre drill, 5 mil, 10 mil, whatever. You just you don't do it in one hit. You do it in stages to keep it nice and concentric. I'll come back to you guys when that's done. Cheers. All right, welcome back. Right, so small problem. The footage of me uh, drilling all the holes seemed to, well... Seemed to die on me before I had a chance to download it. I don't know what happened, but uh, there we go. Anyway, so, as you can see, they're all done. Hole through the middle, three screw holes on each. Pull the edges nicely deburred. Count something, you know, just to make it all nice and tidy. Next step, which I won't be doing today because I've got to go and get ready for my trip over the water very shortly, is to weld those in there. Then after that, we put them on a lathe, tidy these edges up, take these the diameter down to about I don't know within about a quarter of an inch of the edge of the circle and that'll be about it they'll be ready to use I've got the threaded rod I need for the vice and the vice will be uh, one of the other upcoming projects fairly shortly hopefully I will get some time to do some stuff next weekend I'm gonna be well yeah you know, I'm gonna be getting back after a week at work overseas early start late finish blah 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 see what happens but uh, yeah Hope you are enjoying it so far. Cheers.